Okay, my name is Victor Franco. I head Ice Engine Works. Ice Engine Works is a small company dedicated to facilitate and to simplify the process of developing exhaust headers for uh, almost everyone or everyone with basic skills. So you can go from the typical do-it-yourselver at the garage wasting untold amount of scrap metal into developing headers like this one in a matter of days if, uh, if you're really at it. It's a very simple process. It's uh, made out of three stages and we will cover in detail. Uh, by the way, ICE Engine Works stands for Internal Combustion Engine Works. So for those who ask about the weird name. Anyway, let's move on to stage one, which is design and modeling. So stage one, design and modeling, starts with uh, two block set sizes. One is the, the basic case, the other one is the Pro. The only difference really between the two is that the Pro has as double the amount of blocks that the basic kit has. So for practical purposes, we're going to explore what the uh, Pro kit has. Um, essentially, this is what you get. It's a plastic case, pretty, pretty strong construction. And in it, you will find, first of all, a set of illustrated instructions that we'll go over them briefly, and plastic bags containing the amount of blocks according to your set. In this case, being a Pro kit, we get 60 blocks or 60 inches of each type. So we have the straight block, we have the two inch radius blocks, we have the three inch radius blocks, and finally we have the four inch radius blocks. We also get four, eight uh, block adapters that also we'll get into in a second to see how they work. The objective of uh, our system is to be able to produce custom headers for applications where there's nothing available or creating your own headers uh, based on your own specifications. So normally what we end up uh, doing is having uh, you know, our engine in one place, our collector in another, and then being able to connect uh, those points in the most efficient way. So what our system does is it allows you to see and study and analyze what is the easiest pathway uh, not only in terms of packaging, as far as the available space in the engine, but also what is the easiest way to produce and the most economical in terms of how many cuts are required, how many welds are required, how many j bends or u bends are going to be required to produce the, uh, the results you want. So what we start off with is, uh, first we have to make sure that our flanges are fixed. In this case, it will be attached to the engine and the engine will be fixed already in the chassis. That's requirement number one. And that will fix our point A. And then our point B will be where the runners are in, which will be uh, the collector. The collector also needs to be firmly located in the chassis, wherever it needs to go, whether it needs to drop or close or over, wherever. It just needs to be firmly fixed. It can be clamped, it can be uh, tacked, whichever way. But again, the insistence is that we have to have a fixed point to arrive to so that we don't have any imprecision. Once we're able to locate those uh, endpoints, then the rest is really just building. Now, there are many ways to work this. Uh, the idea of these blocks, they have a precision of uh, one inch at the arc length, always, regardless of the shape. So this is one inch. This is another inch long. In this case, I have four of them. So at the center line, imaginary center line, I have four inches exactly. So this allows us to build equivalent headers very easily just by counting the same number of blocks in each runner to make sure we have equal length. Also, if you're building for show, then it might not be as important, but again, it also gives you a very good reference. The blocks have molded around them uh, a series of index uh, marks that uh, allow you to do the optimization process that will come at the end. This optimization process is critical to be able to maximize your resources and minimize errors and minimize cost. Essentially, there are arrows that are molded in, this, uh, in, in each block. And it, every time you have those arrows uh, aligned, it creates an assembly that is on a two-plane thing, on the single plane of a bend. For example, very quickly, 
in this case, I'm building this uh, quick bend. All the arrows follow the same line. This creates a, a bend that again is flat. This can be sourced directly out of an existing J-band of the same specifications, the diameter and the centerline radius.